What's going on everybody? It's your favorite dating coach, Elliot Scott. And as you can see by the title below or above, I'm going to call this the 2.5, 2.5 uh, paths for friends and benefits, right? There's only really two paths you can go down, but of course if you go down one path, you might have a little bit of an extra chance, okay? So that being said, before we get into it, if you can, please subscribe. Just click the red button below, or not, yeah, just red button below and click the little bell next to it too if you want to get my notifications immediately when I get a video out. At the same time, if you're interested in my uh, my guides, I have a free one and a paid one down below in the description. They'll help you out, get the guy you want, keep him around forever, build report, death, and get him to want to date you, so on and so forth, okay? So we're going to jump into this, okay? And the paths are pretty pretty obvious but I want to go into depth in them so you understand where you're going why you're doing what you're doing how to get out of it how to uh, sorry how to fix it and so on okay so okay right here you here here's your starts it's either going to go down one path which I say in the long term it's not going to work okay and here's here's what this path looks like again you know that but here's what the path looks like this path is the woman who, hopefully you can see it all, this path is the woman who um, doesn't make a move, is afraid to make a move, is afraid to tell the guy what she wants after, you know, six to eight weeks because she feels like if she tells a guy that she wants more, that she wants this or that, that the guy's going to pull away, lose interest, um, not, to, you know, just ostracize her, just push her away, okay? Now, here's the problem with this with this dilemma, okay? I call this the not working path because one, it's not gonna work either way. For one, it's not gonna work if you don't say anything, okay? If you don't say anything, it's just not gonna work. Obvious, okay? Secondly, if you try to hold on to it long term, it's really not, because what I'm saying is, let's say you go about it like, well, we've been talking for four or five months, and I don't want to say anything. I'm just going to keep going for several more months and see what happens, okay? The problem with that is right here. Competition. If, especially if you, met, hey, if you met the guy on Tinder, or if you met the guy on OkCupid, or Plenty of Fish, or any of that. Okay, just online, okay? Online. If you met the guy online... It's real, that does not say online there. If you met the guy online, it's really not going to work out, okay? Because you have too much competition here. Too much competition. And the more time, hey, look, here, here it is. Here's, here, think of this graph, okay? It starts off like this. You guys are doing great. The more time, right? If you're friends, if you're friends with benefits and the more time you have together without escalating, committing, um, and moving forward as a relationship, it's going to go like that, and then it's going to go. It's going to come down here, and it's going to go boom. Okay, because because of these things, he might get. It's usually, this big drop happens because of a red flag. So we're going to put a little red flag there, right? It usually happens because of a red flag. Um, this drop might here might happen because he gets bored. Um, some also one of those two might be again another girl. Let's draw a pretty girl, some hair, redhead. You, don't mess with redheads, man. They're um, they're dangerous, right? And I mean that in a good way. I love me some redheads. Okay, you might make mistakes, uh, or just, or just anything else. Do you, do you understand what I'm saying? Basically, this is a no win uh, path. And the reason for it is, if you don't make the, if you're not gonna, you know, tell the guy what you want in the right time. If you're not gonna tell him what you want, and you're hoping, well, long term, something's gonna change. You're doing yourself a big disservice because you're only, don't, hey, everyone makes mistakes. Everything gets, a hey, Disneyland gets boring over time, okay? You can, hey, if you go to Disneyland once, you can have a great time. But if you go to Disneyland every day for a month, you're going to take it for granted. You're going to be like, I want to go home. You're going to see the value in just breaking away from Disneyland and wanting to rest and, and do your own thing instead of going to Disneyland, okay? This is no different. Over time, you're going to end up making a mistake. You're end up going to show a red flag. Another person's going to come in the picture. You're going to end up getting boring. You're going to end up being repetitive, doing the same thing, so on and so forth. At the same time, if you're doing this whole, I'm not going to, I'm not going to tell him what I want to tell him because I'm afraid he's going to pull away. 
Well, he's never going to want to commit anyway because, you know, right, right now, he's free. He's free. He's happy. He's single. There's no reason for him to want to commit, okay? So what makes you think he's going to want to commit to you when it's going to get boring over time, you're going to make mistakes, red flags, another girl's going to come into the picture? Do you get what I'm saying? Over time, this is a lose-lose situation. It's a lose-lose situation, especially if you meet the guy online, okay? So the other option you have, which is over here, which is give him the ultimatum, okay? After, up to the six to eight week mark, you have to tell a guy what you want. You have to say straight up, hey, I want A, B, C, X, Y, Z, whether it be a relationship, something super serious. Um, you have to tell him what you want. If you don't, then you're going to be stuck over there, okay? The problem a lot of women make, though, when they're over here is... They ignore this part, the actual yes or no, which we'll get on. They'll ignore that part. They'll tell them what they want to hear. They'll tell the guy what he wants. Or, sorry. They'll tell the guy the ultimatum. And then the guy will bounce back and tell the woman, sorry, what they want to hear. And bullshit them, right? He'll say, can you just give me a little bit more time? I really like you. I just don't want to rush it. Or I'm not ready yet. Or I'm just so stressed with school. I, you know, And I want to give you my undivided attention. Just right now is not the right time. Please just give me a couple more months. And all that bullshit. He's going to give you all that bullshit. Okay? You have, as soon as you say, okay, I, I, I'll give you a couple more months. Or I'll, get, you know, I'll, I'll wait till school's out. Or I'll wait till you... You know, you're done with work. I know you're going through a big project and all. As soon as he starts feeding it, you that bullshit and you fall for it, value goes down. He knows he can talk you out of anything, number one. Number two, you, um, he knows, look right here. He knows, right, he has more time to buy, he has more time to buy excuses. He, hey, if you, if you come in all strong saying, I, hey, this is what I want. And then, he's, and then he, he talks you out and manipulates you. He knows he can manipulate you, and you lose a little bit of backbone. You, you lose a little bit of value. You lose a little bit of confidence, okay? Because a lot, And when I say that, a lot of women go in there uh, with the ultimatum saying they want this. But I know in the back of your head, a lot of the times, you might not want to do it because you're afraid of losing the guy. So he's going to tell you what you want to hear. It's going to lower your value. And then you are going to get in your own head, and you're going to justify it. You're going to be like, well... I, you know, I really like the guy, and if, if this is the case, then um, I'm, I am going to give him a couple more months because a couple more months, you know, I'll be with him. Like, you know, you hold on to that hope factor, and it really, really crushes you, okay? So what you need to do is go to point three right here, okay? You need to actually give him the ultimatum. If he says yes, he wants to be with you, then great, okay? If he says no, then two things are going to happen. He either is going to, or you are going to move on completely, 100% move on. Not well, Actually, you're going to do that either way if he says no. If he says no, you're going to move on 100% complete, completely. Okay, and I'm going to tell you why in a little bit. Okay, you're going to do that. And then the reason I want, well, actually, I'm going to tell you now, just because I can get over here with that. You want to tell, you want to move on completely 100%. And I mean, don't text, don't like his status, don't look at his snaps. Don't like his shit on Instagram because that's progressional uh, distance, right? Like anyone can adapt to that. Like I know if – it's just common sense. Like I know as a guy if I – if you step out of my life or you say you're stepping out of my life and then you pull all that like I'm going to like his status or I'm going to reach out and look at his snaps or I'm going to like his face you know, or I'm going to like his picture and stuff like that. I know you're still interested. You, you are literally an orbiter. You're literally an orbiter just, just waiting for me to change my mind. And that shows that you have no options, that you're not scarce, that you still like me, that I still have you under my thumb. It, you know, and it doesn't actually give the illusion of you being gone, okay? So when you move on, you have to ask, or he's going to ask himself, you know, do I miss her? You know, does he miss you? And if he, if he completely misses you, he's going to come back. And again, the reason is... If you if you do a progressional uh, move, you know kind of progressional move on like distance type of thing where you're staying on the outside because you're hoping he's coming back. He never has the illusion that you're gone. He can never fully contrast you out of his life. However, if you give him the ultimatum, you say no, and then you move on. 
you know, like you literally rip yourself out of his life, then he's going to be able to easily and vividly contrast his life with you and his life without you. And if he misses you, he will come back. And when he comes back, of course, you can have, you can have, uh, you know, some, that's, that's a heart. I, I was going to draw a baby, but never mind. I was going to draw a baby. I was going to draw house and family, but all that bullshit, okay? That's a little clean. You don't want to think that. But do you understand what I'm saying, though? So, to recap this in a minute, right? A 60-second thing here. Boom, boom, you have 2.5 paths. You have the path of it not working or giving him the ultimatum. This path is always wrong. Always no. Because, one, you're afraid of, saying, you're afraid of moving forward, okay? Um, so, nothing's going to happen. Two, uh, if you don't say anything, he's not going to say anything because he's, cause he's having boyfriend benefits, girlfriend benefits, and he's, he's having his cake and eat it too, right? He's, he's single while hooking up with you. Why would he want to change that? So you have to say something. Three, if you don't and you think you're going to win him over long term, just remember, hon, it's all, it always spikes up in the beginning and then it dies off no matter how great you are. Competition comes in. He gets bored. Mistakes. Hey, even if you guys get married, you know how married couples are. Yeah, some of them spice things up, but at the same time, they, be, they remain content for about 40 years of their life, okay? So that's that, especially if you meet the guy online, remember. Now, the other thing you can do is the ultimatum, yes or no. If he says no, you got to move out completely. Cut, don't, no, no bullshit, no orbiting on the outside, hoping he changes his mind. Move on completely. You should be talking to another guy that exact same day. And if he misses you, he'll come back, boom. Simple as that, ladies. So with that being said, I love you, ladies. Take care. Again, if you want to subscribe, please just click the red button below if you want more videos like this. I love doing what I do. Um, my guides are below in subscript or my, my sorry, my guides and my uh, sessions are below in the description. I love you. Take care. And